Yeah, so Foxy. It. You've got a few Arsenal teammates on the other side. This is true. It. What's the official Foxy scouting report? The what, sorry? The official Foxy scouting report. Uh, the official scouting report, I mean, all three are amazing players. They're very talented. Um, so, yeah, I think we, we all have a lot of respect for them and for the entire Australian team. Um, we know that they're going to be dangerous, and I feel like especially having Caitlin and Kat on the same side, they're both a threat. Um, and then with Kyler controlling the midfield. So, yeah, they're great players, great people, and they're going to be dangerous. What are you looking forward to now with this game being announced about Wembley? Obviously, kind of home soil for you now, but having U.S. play England out in November. Yeah, um, the first thing I thought was that is really nice travel for me, um, <laughs> just in terms of the commute and stuff. Uh, but no, I mean, it, it's amazing. We we played there last year, I want to say, and um, the atmosphere was incredible, especially with the success that they had at the Euros and and everything behind women's soccer in England. So yeah, I think it's going to be a great test for us, um, great environment to be in. And yeah, again, another, you know, a lot of teammates that play on that team that are very talented. So yeah. So yeah. I've just talked about, you know, next man up, kind of strategy leaning on the depth of this team, obviously with Tierna missing the next game. How does that change your approach for the defensive assignment for Australia? Does it? Um, I mean, we feel very confident with all 22 players that we have. And I think, for us, a strength that we definitely have is our depth, and not only the 22, but just I feel like our USA pool in general. Um, so, I think for us again, we feel really confident in in our game plan and our strategies. Sorry, I just got some sand or wind in my eye. Um, sorry, in our strategies, and with that, I feel like every player that our game changers they've stepped up every time, and there is like a clear plan of what we want to do. So, um, yeah. Um, how much have you been able to watch other Olympic sports cheer on other American sports? And uh, Sana said she normally veers towards the Virginia alumni. Are mm -hmm. you cheering for the North Carolina Tar Heel alumni or, or just all in on Team USA? Every, Team USA, everyone. Um, we've been able to watch uh, some of the men's games and that's been really great. Uh, we were all watching, had dinner when they were playing in Marseille, so that was a really great win for them. My parents actually went to that game, so uh, yeah, that was a great win for them, and we're definitely rooting and watching their games. Um, but yeah, for me, really everyone. Um, it has been hard to watch the games just because we're kind of in our own little area, but trying to watch the women's basketball, um, the swimming, just any any sport we can because that's really the fun of the Olympics. So.